Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. I have another empty glass. As you can see, it's spotted. You know, only because of the fact I just rinsed this out, man. I what do you put in a glass like this besides a Belgian style beer? Man, one that you want to get the aromas from. One that you want to be able to taste the flavors and get the aromas pretty much at the same time. So what I thought was, hmm, I was out and about today because I did I had the day off. I had to take my, you know, my little one. I have a son and I took him to a, a doctor's appointment today. And I thought, hmm. Let's stop in and see what one of the local places, man. I went to, let's see, how can I put this? Um, how do they do that? Um, Vintage Estates, man. V-N-E, man. I went to Vintage Estates. I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to do it like this. Why? Because I can get it up there better. Man, Vintage Estates of Boardman, Ohio, man. They, you walk in there, and it's almost like a beer and wine lover's paradise. Man, that is one of the best spots here in uh, northeastern Ohio. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw it out there, man. They're one of the best places. So I walked in there, and I started filling up my arms, man. I'm like, okay, 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 I want this, 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 and this. Boom, what they bust out, hey, look what we just got in, man, look what we just got in, we just got in some fresh clown shoes, so I was like, what, 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 oh, here we go, bam, look at that, Bombay Berserker, boom, there it is, man, I'm going to do this one today, I mean, I picked up three, count them, three different ones that I haven't had, I've never reviewed, so I'm like, <clears throat> gotta take one of these home and review them, why? I, I'm the beer geek. Come on, man. I got to review this stuff for you guys. So let me pop this open and tell you a little bit about it if you haven't had it. It should be heading out to the uh, distributing uh, areas real soon, real soon. I love these caps, man. Look at that. Look at that. Hair clown shoes. Back it up for you, man. That is simply kind of cool. I like that. Love their caps. Keep it up. Now... As I go to pour this beer, let me tell you a little bit about it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Well, look at that head, man. I kind of gave it a little bit of a rough pour, but nice, like, three-finger head. Definitely three-finger. Now, this says it is an Indian-style chocolate stout. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. But on the side note over here, it says that an exotic stout is a relative uh, of uh, chocolate sombrero. Now, their chocolate sombrero is kind of like a Mexican-style um, uh, beer, but I, I don't know if this has the pepper uh, kick in it. Um, with the Mexican spices replaced by the flavors of uh, GT, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, and vanilla, deer head bringing craft beer drinkers please remember our love for you is like a truck berserker okay 10 percent alcohol by volume i don't know what the ibus are so i'm going to just slide this right up here i'm gonna slide this beauty right over here and we're gonna catch a nose on it real quick man let me dip off these glasses tip the hat back let the hair loose a little bit because you everybody knows man i got some crazy hair up there but ah <sighs> Definitely right off the top. You can definitely smell that ginger. You can definitely smell that cardamom. Man, it's an explosion of flavors. This almost smells exactly like a um a Christmas beer. Oh, that is an explosion of just wild scents, man. The, those uh, spices are just like woof. Here we are. It's actually very amazing smelling. Um, let me tone this down a little bit, get this head going. Oh, there it is. It's nice, smooth, and creamy now, boy. Definitely. Wow. Cinnamon, cardamom, and uh, ginger. I can definitely pick those right up out of the top, man. Those are, those are exploding right out the top. 
I mean, you might get a little hint of vanilla up there, but I mean, this almost smells definitely, definitely, definitely like a um a, a Christmas Christmas esque style beer. Um, let me go ahead and get into the taste and, and see if it brings out anything better. And pros. Wow. Wow. All the flavors are there. All of them. I've been definitely getting some vanilla, getting that cardamom, getting that ginger, getting that cinnamon. Uh, whoa. Um, you're definitely getting a hint of dark chocolate. You're definitely getting a lot, especially in the, in the flavor. You're getting a lot of that chi tea, man. You're, you're, you're definitely getting those, uh, tea flavors. Um, but you're also picking up on everything else at the same time, man. This would seriously kick some curry ass right there. Seriously. Um. Oh my God, man! I'm I'm definitely in the mood for some curry right now. Um, just those flavor compounds in this is just astounding. So therefore, if you like some more spicier dishes, I know this is a little outside the range. I know they tell you to um, grab up an uh, an IPA, a double IPA, a triple IPA. You know, hey, who don't like hops, man? I'm supporting the green team right now. Um, but at the same time, this right here, boys, this has got some flavor kick in the back end. Plus, it's it's high enough up there. If you have this really cold, I mean, it's it's chilled. I mean, the bottle's not cold or anything, but it, it's 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 above room temperature right now. But if you have this with some really really freaking spicy food, it's it's I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't think that this. I don't believe that this will. Um, output um, your spicier foods but I think if you have some hot Thai dishes or hot uh, Indian dishes um, especially like I was talking about a minute it's got me in this, the mood for some uh, real authentic curry um, I, I would pair this up with a curry or something why you know hey it's a dark beer it's very thick it's uh, kind of viscous um, but it's nice and smooth at the same time and all those flavors that are popping um, just like they described on the side of the bottle. I mean, you're getting each and every one of them in the sips, man. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is nice. It, it's, it's, it's a different kick than a lot of these holiday spice beers, even though it's got a lot of the same components, like you know vanilla cinnamon ginger maybe even some cardamom maybe even some allspice that kind of stuff that's where it's kind of relative but the cardamom and the tea bring out more of that uh i don't want to call it um that uh indian style um flavor notes and that's what i really love about this beer it, it sets itself apart but at the same time, hey, it's enjoyable now. You don't have to wait, man. Grab yourself up some good Thai. Grab up yourself some good, you know, Indian dishes. And go to town on this beer. Go to town on your food. Um, even some nice spicy, really, really spicy Tex-Mex, man. Go right ahead, man. I'm going to put two thumbs up on this beer and say, hey, if you haven't had it, get it now, man. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. I'm telling you, listen to some death metal while you're drinking this shit because it's, it's that good, man. Boom. Bombay Berserker. Get it now while it's out there. It might go quick, especially here in Ohio because it was just released. Boom. Two thumbs up, man. Get it. Get it good, man. Please do not drink and drive. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Please text when or you know, get on your phones, man. Watch me on your phones. Watch me on your PC. Watch me on your big screens back there, man. Hey, whatever it takes. I like them views. I like them comments. Keep them coming, man. Boom, I'm out.